this is Heidi with Kiddo's Corral, and I think I'm finally going to make the video of my kitchen walkthrough, and you're going to hear my guys in there watching TV because they're laughing out loud, and the TV's blurring, but um, this is a real household, so bear with that, please. Um, this is where you walk in from my front door, and then there's this, just this little doorway into the um, what we call the breakfast area. Um, I got the table at an antique store, um, I guess it was probably two years ago, and the placemats came from Goodwill, and my mother got me my curtains, I don't know if you can see this, it is 9.30 at night when I'm doing this walkthrough. Um, I got that little uh, thing on the wall right there from uh, Costco. And I'm not real sure where I got these two items, but I just really like um, things that kind of remind me of Cracker Barrel. And I know that's weird, but I like antique um, slash Americano slash country slash primitive. I don't know what my style is, but that's kind of what I like. My mom and dad made me that. And... Um, it's made from a shutter and they sell crafts and stuff so um, I've acquired some things that they have made and then I have a little thing right here hanging on the wall um, when you come in and this my two dog collars when I walk them and then our extra set of keys are in here and this is just really cute and easy to um, and I have a pumpkin hanging here to keep them stuff and I also put my sunglasses here so I don't forget them and then just recently well I guess I should finish the walls um, I got this um, American flag and a lot of people have asked me if it's wood but it's not it just has that wood look it came from Kirkland's and I got it really really cheap because apparently I'm the only one in the world it seems <laughs> um, to really like Americano type stuff my dad made me that wood angel, and it's made out of an old barn wood that he had. And that's one of my favorite items in the kitchen. And then I got this fake antique phone, um, which actually holds um, our, I don't even know what it's called, but it goes to our internet in our house, and it's inside that box. And um, I really like it because it reminds me of my childhood because I used to go spend the night with my girlfriend when we were little girls and their mom had one of these in their kitchen. So when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, I used to play with that fake phone <laughs> at their house all the time. So I was really glad to get it. It's really cute. Then I have some Hershey things and a little metal sign. And then I got this. Um, I think I got this from Michael's. I'm not 100% sure on that because I've had it for a really long time. And then all the way across up here, I have all the copper um, cake pans that I got infatuated with at one time, but never bought any for the other side. But I still love them. Then you all have seen how I organize my cereal. And of course, that one, that box was so big that it wouldn't fill this up. And then I have um, in this chest of drawers, I put all of my foil. And this chest of drawers really came in handy because it organized a lot of stuff that was utilizing a lot of space in my cabinets and drawers. And then I have all of my bake stuff in here. I've got my cake decorating stuff, my cupcake papers, cake stuff that I got on clearance for really, really cheap at Michael's that I, I know I will use in the future but just have not broke into yet. And in here, it's going to look like a mess, but this is all extra baking stuff. It's cake mixes, corn muffin mixes, uh, chocolate chips, um, you know, just all kinds of anything that has to do with baking. Raisins, that is all in there. And I don't have two hands to get the door shut. There we go. In the bottom one, and I can't get it open with holding the camera, it's just all of our vitamins that we take. And that is all that's utilizing that space. So then, um, I have a crock that holds all of my um, utensils and my KitchenAid, which I've had about 10 years. In here, I keep my oven mitt. And in here, I utilize this space for mixing bowls on this side. And of course, I have several in the dishwasher tonight. And I put big Tupperware here, and then there's a shelf um, in the back. You can see the thing right there. 
I keep all the lids. And then in the very back, it's all the little tiny, tiny Tupperwares. Um, and that's how I fix that. Now, my oven's broke. Can you see? No handle. They uh, came to uh, fix my stove and to let me know that my warranty um, does not cover the handle because it's not a functioning part on my stove. Well, I'm going to do something. <laughs> I got the handle. We're just thinking maybe going to the hardware store to try to get us some other type of screws to fix it. And that's a whole different story. And they replaced all my burners on the top. So I was really happy about that because they needed it. And I think I'm the only person they've ever seen that cooked, it seemed like. Um, we just put this microwave in. And we had to cut the cabinets. Now, <laughs> we haven't decided what to do with this space. So if you have any ideas, let me know. We haven't, I haven't just like thoroughly thought of what I wanted to do. I thought about lining some mason jars across and then filling them and then you could just see what they were, what was in them. I'm not really 100% sure what I want to do, but if you have some suggestions, let me know. There's my apple butter. This is going to look kind of bare because I've got dishes in the dishwasher, but this is where we keep all of our glasses. I keep the big plastic ones here, small glasses here, and um, the large glasses here. Now, one thing that I do so that I cut down on, um, you know, on a lot of glasses being used during the day is that I bought all my kids their own individual cup, and then they drink out of it all day long, and then it gets put in the washer, the dishwasher, at the end of the day. Now this is going to look, this is the only drawer that I have not really sorted through. I have not figured out what I wanted to do. I did buy some of that slip proof kind of stuff. I need to go through here and put some more stuff in my crock. Um, I use all of this. I mean, I cook three meals a day. So I'm going to have to figure something out. But this was the only drawer that... I went to um, the store to try to find dividers, but they were completely sold out. And I wanted to fix this drawer before I showed it to you, but when I get it done, I'll show it to you because I'm going to be making a lot of... And then I keep my, um, my weekly uh, list here for the meals. Um, in here... Um, in here I keep straws and um, plastic spoons. This is a little caddy that you can use for picnics, but I just love it. But I use this big Tupperware-like cereal container, and it holds all of any rice products that I buy. And then I put sauces way in the back, which I know you can't see. Can't see, excuse me, because it's um, so dark. So that's that side. Now, you have seen um, my uh, rice, flour, and sugar. And um, then I have my silverware here. And that is another drawer that I want to get some things to kind of utilize. These are all my cleaning rags. I just kind of don't fold them, and I just throw them in there. <clears throat> this is all my bakeware. Still really dark. So, try to turn this light on. It might help a little. But all my bakeware is in here. I just laid this contact paper in here, and then I had that roll of extra. I'm not real sure where I'm going to use it, but I had extra. <clears throat> and then my serving platters are in there. Anything that I serve on um, is there. My son just made me that um, dishcloth. Isn't it pretty? And then in here, I keep a fire extinguisher. And my kids put away the dishes so they're not stacked necessarily like I would want to show them to you. But... Um, we usually stack by size. I have two sets of pots. One was red once a lo long time ago. But we had red and then we had black and silver ones and then we stacked them according to size and then we put colanders in there. Or strainers, whatever you like to preferably call them. Then we have the dishwasher. And then in here I just keep um, drink containers like when we make iced tea and then this I think I said before where I exchanged out the um, summer things like the snow cone maker and this is the hot chocolate maker so I brought put the summer stuff up and brought my winter stuff out I've got thermos for coffee we take that to the Christmas parade with us so I'm getting ready and um, <coughs> excuse me 
Um, that right there is a baker's rack. I keep my okay, paper. Okay, so I just ran out of time on the last video, but um, I'm going to try to pick up where I left off there. I keep my little um, blender here and some extra coffee mugs that we regularly drink out of every day here. My Keurig, my coffee, my sugar. I always keep this cake thing out because I always make something and put it in there. And then I have um, coffee mugs, to-go mugs. Um, I keep my um, tea and my honey together. I do my um, hot chocolate um, and anything that has to do with coffee in there. And then my uh, K-cups, extra coffee in the back. <clears throat> so that is that. And then, um, say, hold on. Um, in here, I just, hopefully you can see with this light. Um, I'll try to put my hand on it. I keep various cleaning stuff, mostly to wash my dishes. I'll be there on that side. And then, um, this is all the little pods that go to my dishwasher. These are all garbage bags. We have many garbage bags and dusters. I keep in these Dollar Tree bins up here on the top. And then, I don't know if I showed you this, but there's not much to show. But um, these are plates, plates, small plates, bowls, small and large. Um, this is a serving platter that I use all the time. Then I have an Emerald Lagasse set of plates that I bought from Tuesday morning up there in the top. And then over here is all my measuring cups in a Dollar Tree bin. Um, I'd like to eventually take the uh, measuring cups and put them on the inside of the door, but um, I just didn't have time to do that and figure all that out. My son made me that pot holder just this week. Isn't that pretty? And then I think in another vlog I showed this, um, but my son made me the owls. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's like an imprint of an owl in this one. Isn't it pretty? He's really good at that. So I keep my pepper on that side and my salt on that side because I just use the little grinds that you buy. And this is my refrigerator. Typical refrigerator, and I'm not sure if you can see over here, but... This is what I kind of use as extra storage because I don't actually have a pantry. Um, up there, I keep a basket for bread. That was one of the best ideas that Organized Clutter Bug gave me because we buy a lot of bread or I make a lot of bread and that is an excellent place um, to put it. I keep extra baking stuff in here. And then another thing I do is I have bought these little boxes. And here is like all the little McCormick seasonings, anything that's in like an envelope, onion soup mix, ranch, any, any kind of envelope type seasonings I put in here. And then in this one is all the extra baking stuff that I have. It says decorating on it, but it's like sprinkles, um, oils, you know, like vanilla oil, um, candy oils, anything that I use with baking is all in here. And then when I buy extra things, I have k syrup and gelatin and things I use for, you know, for baking. Then I store my ginormous pot, which I make soup in that all the time. It is a wonderful pot. Then I have um, oatmeal because we eat oatmeal at least two or three times a week for breakfast. And I have my crock pot, which is broken. And I have my powdered sugar in a container there and my... Um, Let's see, my self-rising flour in there. And then an extra large coffee pot and um, a popcorn maker that we use uh, for birthday parties and such when I have them here at the house. And I'll show you this um, a little bit further away. I know it's shadowed and I apologize, but I gotta shoot this when I can. And my dog is eating. That's where I keep his dog bowls. And then I showed you what these are. This is rice, sugar, and flour. I'm going to try to find another home for this so this is not sitting here, but I haven't figured it out because I have, you all know, renovation going on with my bathroom. <laughs> and then this is my canned good um, shelf that my husband built because there's no pantry. And this is where I keep all of my spices. And I like this because it's all eye level and I don't have to guess what anything is. I really, really like it.
So, this is a view of my kitchen from this end. And there's my puppy dog. And I have ice maker and as you can see, um, I have pumpkins. <clears throat> so. And then this is what it looks like from the table. Uh, excuse that door not having a um, doorknob. It broke this past week and I need to put a new one on or actually fix the one that came off of it. So this is what my kitchen looks like. It's pretty big. Um, definitely wish I had more table space to sit at because there's no dining room and it's kind of like my number one thing that I hate but um, I like it and it's home it, we have lived here for it'll be 17 years this Thanksgiving we moved in Thanksgiving Day and then that little stand right there I I utilize for fruit I put my bananas and oranges